Today we have a unique opportunity to find something out about the roadside firewood stand. Something that I don't even know, believe it or not. In all the years that I've had this, I don't even know. What are we gonna find out today? You might be wondering. Well, let me show you. So it just so happens that the stand is completely empty. And so what we're gonna find out today, we are gonna take this tote of maple and oak. It's a little mix. We've got maple on the top, we got oak on the bottom. What we are gonna find out is just how long it takes to fill the front three slots of the roadside stand. But I am not gonna be doing this alone. So we'll see how long it takes for two of us to fill three slots in the roadside stand. Two to fill three in the stand. So let me just clarify what I mean here by unique opportunity and having the stand completely empty. Normally there's like one slot gone or two and then I'll refill it. So I'm, you know, I'm usually only filling one or two slots at a time, but this time it's completely been cleaned out. All right, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so there's a few things uh, worth pointing out here as we start filling up the front of the roadside stand. First off, I am actually probably going to be doing more work since the two bends that I am filling are further from the tote of wood. So I have to go a further distance with the wood. Also, I probably won't be able to fill my bin as quickly as Amanda fills hers. Again, because I am taking the wood and going to the two bends that are further away from the tote. Just keep that in mind. But I did want to point out that we are filling, uh, we're going to be filling up one slot completely with maple, uh, the first slot that Amanda's filling, and then I'm going to fill the last slot with all oak. And then the middle will probably do a little bit of a mix of both. And I just want to see if any customers um, notice that, and I want to see which of these bins ends up selling first. Uh, this is getting to be that time of the year. I mentioned this in a previous video. Uh, that people are kind of starting to uh, maybe have some outdoor fire pits or maybe even possibly going camping. So I'm kind of uh, getting ready to switch over from the oak and the heating uh, wood that I put in the stand to more straight recreational mix. Um, so like the maple and uh, just any, anything else I have back in the wood yard. Um, so again, just starting to switch things over. I did have a little bit of oak left. Um, I wanted to fill up the one bin, like I said, with all oak, and I wanted to see which of these bins, one all maple, one all oak, and then in the middle is a little bit of a mix of both. I want to see which of these ends up selling first. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Which of these bins do you think will sell first? The all maple, all oak, or a mix of both?
And there we are. The roadside stand has been completely restocked in the front. Bundles on the side and a couple extra bundles on the back. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have a timer on the screen or not, but the time to complete filling the three slots on the front, the three bins, it was right around seven and a half minutes. So not too bad. Not too bad at all. I thought it would maybe take a little longer. I was thinking around 10. So we came in under 10 minutes, two people to fill the front of the stand completely full. So there you go. So now all of you that were wondering, I know there's been many of you, Stan Nelson, you're probably one of them. You probably have been laying awake at night, losing sleep, trying to figure out how long would it take to fill that roadside stand. Now you know.